We're following several other stories developing for you from around the nation tonight. Jobless Americans missed out on billions of dollars in benefits last month. Research from the Century Foundation shows the unemployed were left waiting for $17.6 billion in benefits in January. That's because the coronavirus relief bill wasn't finalized until the end of December, and it takes weeks for states to update their computer systems. The Senate hopes to sign a new COVID relief bill into law by March 14th, but that could cause another break in payments. Former South Bend Mayor and Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg is officially the new Transportation Secretary. He was sworn in this morning by Vice President Kamala Harris. Buttigieg took the oath on a Bible held by his husband, Chastin. He's the first openly gay cabinet member in U.S. history. Buttigieg is expected to play a central role in President Biden's push for a bipartisan infrastructure package. The Supreme Court is postponing two cases related to immigration. One of the cases deals with the legality of funding a wall on the border with Mexico. The other involves keeping non-Mexican immigrants in Mexico until their court dates in the United States. President Biden has already signed executive orders on both, but his order on ending the Remain in Mexico policy only stops new enrollments in the program. Thousands of migrants will continue to wait in Mexico. The case addressing it now moves to next month.